We finally have an official release date for the Minecraft 1.16 Nether update and it is coming out next week on June 23rd. In this video we are going to talk about all the new features that are going to be introduced to the game with this update. If you don't know what the nether is, it is one of the three walls in a Minecraft game and it can be accessed through the nether portal. The nether basically represents hell and it is very dark and spooky. Now let's talk about all of the new mechanics, mobs and biomes that will be introduced to this dimension. Starting off with mobs, piglins are a new type of mob that build settlements in the nether and can also trade with players. The piglins are totally obsessed with gold so if you are wearing a golden suit of armor, they will not attack you. And you can also distract them by throwing gold ingots at them which they grab immediately and stops attacking. Trading with piglins involves throwing gold or other objects towards them in return of which they throw back other random items. These creatures do not really like the overworld and if they stay longer in there they turn into zombified piglins which is another new mob or more like an update to a pre-existing mob which is the zombified pigmen. Next comes the hoglins, the brand new and the only food source of the nether world. Like the piglins, the hoglins also do not like the overworld and turns into zombified hoglins if they stay there for a longer time. The zombified hoglins are very aggressive and will attack almost anything in their path. The last one of the new mobs is Strider. This one is a passive mob and can also be ridden with a saddle but to control its direction you will need a warped fungus in a stick. Now let's talk about the new blocks and the different items that are coming in this update. Starting with Blackstone which is the nether version of Cobblestone. It can be used to make all kinds of blocks that can be done with a cobblestone. There's also a variant called Gilded Blackstone which contains golden ore in it. Apart from golden ore, there's also a new kind of ore that can be found in the nether which is the ancient debris and it is extremely rare. You can use it to make netherite scrap by putting it in a furnace and then by using 4 scraps you can form 1 netherite ingot which you can further use in a smithing table with diamond armors and tools to make netherite items which is currently the highest form of these items. Target block is the most exciting one. It uses redstone mechanism to revert back signals based on how close to the center you have hit it. It will be a great thing to practice shooting with arrows. Lodestone blocks can be used for navigation purposes. Once it is activated with the compass, it will always point towards the direction of the block no matter which location you are in. Basalt is a new decorative block that is formed when lava flows on soul soil next to ice. It can also be improved into polished basalt. Obsidian now has a new variant called Crying Obsidian. It has this purple glowing fluid dripping all over it and it has a very useful purpose in the game. It can be charged with glowstones to set a respawn point in the netherworld. But don't try it in the overworld because it will just immediately explode. Soul soil is very much similar to soul sand except it also happens to burn with an intense blue flame. It can also be used to make soul torches, soul lanterns and soul campfires. Nether bricks and quartz are also getting new block variants. We will now have chiseled nether bricks, cracked nether bricks along with a very beautiful looking quartz brick. Now there's a series of blocks and items that can be made from the new plants which are crimson and warped plants. Both of these only grow on a new kind of soil called nilium and also does not drop any saplings. Other new items include the chain blocks, a new enchantment called soul speed which allows you to move faster on soul soil and there's also a new banner pattern. Now let's take a look at the biomes that are going to be added. In this update the nether is being split into 5 different biomes and they are warped forests, crimson forests, soul sand valleys, basalt deltas and the nether waste. Two new locations are also being introduced which are bastion remnants and ruined portals. The bastion remnants are the home of piglins and hoglins. The ruined portals are basically destroyed nether portals denoting some horrifying accident. They are a good source of obsidian gold blocks and even the new crying obsidian block. So that was all the new stuff coming to Minecraft with the new update. Let me know what is your favorite item of this update in the comments down below. This is me Decker, see you again in the next video.